Introducing Olivia Jones doing Formula One story rolfing. He starts. In the 1970s, there was a driver called Peanut Barbers. <laughs> Peanut he, Barbers. He was the greatest driver in the team known as Bangladesh Heartthrobs. <laughs> Despite not coming from Bangladesh. <laughs> Peanut Barbers actually came from the country of sleeping bags. <laughs> His greatest rival in the Formula One world was an awful, evil driver called Transylvania Crampon. Transylvania Crampon. Peanut Barbers and Transylvania <laughs> Crampon had a rivalry that lasted seven whole years, during which they treated each other like absolute garbage. Once, Transylvania Crampon actually stole Peanut Barbers' He-Man boot. <laughs> Another year, Transylvania Crampon stole Peanut Barber's wife and made her underarms smell of bags. <laughs> Finally, in a shocking move that would change their relationship forever, Transylvania Crampon, the evil Transylvania Crampon, uh, forced peanut barbers <laughs> to organise a gardening show. <laughs> <laughs> peanut barbers was afraid of gardening, so this took their rivalry to the next level. They would race next at the famous <laughs> Nigel Grand Prix. <laughs> Um, it was one of the most exciting races in Formula One history. At one point, Peanut Barbers drove his car into a branch. At another point, <laughs> Transylvania Crampon did a 180 turn, um, accidentally slamming his car into one of his opponents, the uh, skilled French driver, Drambui Umlaut. <laughs> This would seem to be the end for that particular driver, um, but he came back in a new car made entirely out of Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, mm. This is frustrating. The two drivers raced until the finish line. One in a car made of Cheerios, the other in a more regular car. Finally, at the bitter end. Peanut Barbers did what no driver has ever done before. He simply broke a bush over his opponent's head in mid-race. This stunned Transylvania Crampon. He spun his car into a nearby dancer who was carelessly <laughs> dancing on the track. The crowd went wild. They cheered. They sang. They turned a bush into a car. <laughs> The entire incident was recorded on television and broadcast all over the world. President Obama, who, had, who was not yet president, because the story is set in the 70s, called it at the time the most randy thing he'd ever seen. A young-ish Margaret Thatcher said the race was almost as good as hurling a goat through a beehive. <laughs> <laughs> no sandwiches. <coughs> um, in the end, uh, Mr. Barbers went on to fame and fortune, while the poor Transylvania crampon ended up as a steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, the moral of this story... Don't ever 
treat a partridge like you would a ball bag. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs>